just think about what you have to do when you put together a research article. You have to justify the need for the study. So why did you do the study? You have to talk about what you did. What did you do? You have to describe what was found. What did you find? And you have to argue what you add to the field. What's the significance of the study? Four questions. A research article answers four questions. Why did you do the study? What did you do? What did you find? And what did you conclude? What's the significance of the work? An academic research article, doesn't matter about what subject, answers four questions. And you can see them in black and yellow down the side of the slide. It's the same when you write an abstract. People often ask us, how can I write an abstract? People often find writing an abstract for an academic paper or for a conference presentation to be quite difficult. You've got 200 words, 250 words. How can you put information into such a short word count and get your message across effectively? How can you be efficient with your writing? Well, writing an abstract is no different to writing a big research article you just do it in shorter form write down the four questions why did you do the study what did you do what did you find and what did you conclude those four questions and then answer them with text from your own article and then of course you can just delete the questions put in one or two sentences from your own paper from your own research then delete the questions you'll end up with around about 100, 150 words that you can use as the basis for your next research paper. It's a great, effective, easy to follow template for writing an abstract. It's called the four question technique for writing an abstract. Why did you do the study? What did you do? What did you find? And what did you conclude? The four question based technique for writing an academic article and it gives you it gives you the overall shape of a paper